Hi everyone, hope you're having a good day. So everybody's doing good. Uh, Frankie's at the clinic today, he's getting neutered, and he's having a urethral prolapse fixed. I posted a post about that and a link if you don't know what it is so you can read about it. Little Minnie's doing great. Um, she was, she's always happy when I come home at lunch and ready to come outside. She's eating well. I'm starting some phone interviews this week for many. Uh, my first one is tomorrow night and I, I got some good applications in on many. Little Gidgey's doing good. She's bossy like Troopy was when Troopy was here. And Gidgey will be leaving middle of this month, which will be here before we know it. I see the question about Minnie, uh, Minnie's special needs. She is not incontinent. She does not have a spinal cord issue. She's not the typical puppy that I would have here. Um, Minnie is just slightly delayed. Um, she has an abnormal palate, which I put some posts in her album about. May or may not need surgery. Sometimes Dr. Mallard says it will self-correct or at least not be a problem with her eating, but she does have to eat elevated, just her bowl elevated. Um, she was just kind of little when I got her. She's starting to fill out, feeding her well. Um, she's born about the middle of April, I would guess. She has one foot that turns out to the side, but it does not impact her mobility. But she is not a diapered, wheelchaired, or spinal cord puppy. So she's lower maintenance for me. Um, in fact, I'm probably not the best at potty training puppies because usually most bulldogs I have are diapered because they're incontinent. So I have to kind of keep Minnie's uh, pottying on my radar. <laughs> but like I said, I do have my first phone interview uh, for Minnie tomorrow night. And hopefully I can have many placed by the end of this month or the very first part of September. I don't really feel like um, she is one that really needs my services very much here. Um, I usually take others that are much more, um, have higher medical needs than many. But I love having her here, glad I could help her. But I would just like to get her family um, approved and find the one so that I can get Minnie on her way to her own family. If you're new to our pages, um, I mostly rescue bulldogs that have spinal cord or spina bifida issues, blind, hydrocephalus, pups with seizures, those types of things. I try to take tougher cases. I also rehab swimmer pups. Um, more things along that line. A few seniors here and there. I see some questions on Frankie's cart. Um, Frankie's in a quad cart, which means it has four wheels. Helps support him. Yeah, he does pretty good in it. I put him in it every day. Um, obviously, now that he's being neutered today and having this urethral prolapse corrected, I'll have to visit with Dr. Mallard today to see 
what his activity restrictions are. He does go for his water therapy consult on the 17th and then we'll get scheduled for some water therapy sessions. Uh, but the two things he had to get done today were really important. Uh, both things were important. He was doing a lot of humping um, and obviously he was not neutered. But his humping uh, is very difficult for him because he's on the ground and he can't walk and he can't stand. He just really needed to get that taken care of. Plus he'd never dropped and so testicles and things were all way up in there. But then Sunday, he developed this urethral prolapse, which caused a lot of bleeding. And um, so both things were very important. Frankie's a pretty unique special case. And if you're new to our page, Frankie is an 18 month old bulldog that wasn't rehabbed properly when he was a swimmer pup. So he's on his chest a lot. But his front legs do function and everything's there. He can walk normally. He just doesn't realize that he can because he's never been upright until he's been here. So the water therapy hopefully will get his legs to working and instinctually cause him to swim, which will help him realize that his legs do work in the front, not the back, but the front. And then hopefully we can just, he can end up in just a regular standard dog wheelchair with two wheels, which would be like what Opie has. Because Opie and Gidget are in a standard dog wheelchair and Frankie currently is in a quad cart. So that's my long-term goal for Frankie. I will say back on Frankie that if he does well in the water therapy, and we get his legs working and stuff, I will start accepting applications for him this next month. But I've got to see what progress a few water therapy sessions can do before I know what type of questions to ask for a potential home. It's going to be a tougher case. He may be tougher to home and find the right family. So. I'm going to start a little bit earlier than I normally do, trying to network for his family. If I can get him walking in the front end in a standard dog wheelchair, then he's not going to need, he's not going to need Hirschberger Hilton services any longer. Uh, but I've got to get him to that point. And if for some crazy reason he can't use a standard dog cart and he always has to be in a quad, then I need to know that. But my heart and my gut tells me that we'll be able to get him back in a regular dog wheelchair and he can pull himself and walk himself and run in the front. We just gotta get his brain to figure out and coordinate with his front legs how to do that. I'm trying to think if I have any other updates, just the calendar voting's going on. There's some posts on my pages about voting for Trooper, Noel, Gidget, and Frankie in the HandicapPets.com uh, calendar for dogs in wheelchairs. Love to see all four of them make the calendar. And, Henry, you got any updates? Hey, Hen. Hey, Papa Hen, you got any updates? I think we're done watching girl TV. I think the boys about lost it last night with three hours of the Bachelorette finale. So we've got two nights of preseason football this week, and I'm sure there'll be more boy TV. Hi, Minnie.
Minnie's a really sweet little puppy. She's very playful. She gets along well with Gidget and everyone. Wanda is our pack leader here and she respects Wanda so she understands dog rules and dog pack rules. Um, she hasn't crossed or tried to snap or playfully bite any of the big dogs which sometimes puppies can and then they have to learn from the pack leaders about that but I haven't seen her do any of that and I know if she would Wanda would have her in place quickly. Alright, hope everyone has a great rest of the day and we'll catch you later.